Hey y'all, I wanted to show y'all a neat trick because I read sometimes a lot of people dog touch whiz and they like, ugh. But I personally think it adds a lot to the experience. And I think if you were to remove it completely, then you would just have yourself a big blocky phone. And really there are prettier phones out there that are a little bit cheaper and a little bit better styling. But I think the Note 4 with touch whiz really is an experience. And a feature that I noticed on it that I don't know if a lot of people know is you can so seamlessly switch between TouchWiz and ADWX without clearing your defaults all the time and the home button and the whole thing is big old pain in the neck and a lot of times you wind up just using one or the other. But I want to show y'all how you can use both. So here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. So here you can see I'm running ADWX. I've got my multi-picture live wallpaper. I've got seven screens. The only thing I give up by being able to get to TouchWiz in a second, there's my home button. Now I'm in TouchWiz. If I wanted to use Flipboard right quick, I could just go one screen over and there I am. But if I want to go right, you see, and let me just point out with TouchWiz, I don't like that there's only four icons across the top. I don't like that I cannot change my multi-picture live wallpaper. I don't like only five static icons on the bottom. And this one you cannot get rid of. It just always stays there. So there's things about TouchWiz I don't like. Of course, I love all the settings. I love the S Pen. But I get to use all those when I'm in a, <coughs> excuse me, ADWX. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. Now, if I want to go back to ADWX, I can get there many, many ways, and that's without touching the home button or clearing the defaults. I have the icon here, I could hit it, and then right there, I'm in, you know, I'm in ADWX immediately. If I hit my home button while I'm in ADWX, I can go right back, and then if I hit my home button, <coughs> excuse me, then it, you know, my home button functions in TouchWiz. It does not function in ADWX, except to bring me back to TouchWiz. But that's okay. <clears throat> Sorry. If I want to put a bunch of icons or widgets or just, you know, all the things that TouchWiz offers, I can do that. But if I don't like the look of it, instantly I go back and I'm in the screen that I love. Now, because I lose the function of my home button, I have installed a little button here from ADWX. If you were to go into settings, so I go to ADWX and I hit add. I want to hit a cut a launcher action so the launcher action i want is move to default desktop once you put that anywhere on your screen and you can get to it all the time i have it in my uh i guess dock and that way it's always there so no matter what screen i'm on i just hit that and it brings me home that's like home to me but if i want the real home touch with home then i just touch that now i'm in touch with so as you can see, you can move back and forth between the two so easily without ever clearing a default or ever having to mess with the home button because that's the part that I think is annoying about giving up TouchWiz and then you're like, well, which one do I want? And you're constantly flipping back and forth. In this case, you keep them both running at the same time. So I'm going to do that one more time. And let me show you, like my, my gestures work when I'm here, but they don't work in touch with, for instance, if I go down one, it shuts my phone off. But when I'm in, let's see, see now if I go home and I'm in here, I can't do that. That doesn't do anything. So it takes a little bit of mastering what you can do in which home screen, but really the beauty of it is a lot of widgets and such aren't available when you're in replacement launchers. And in this case, they are. So there, I'm back where I need to be. Or I'm like, oh, I need Flipboard for a second. You got to hit the home button and get to the home screen and one back is Flipboard or however you want to set it up. I had to cut the video, but I'm back. And there's a couple of things I wanted to just add on to it. And for starters, like, so to recap, the only thing that you really lose by being able to switch so seamlessly between TouchWiz and um, ADWX is you lose the functionality of your home button when you're here. But like I said, you can do a default launcher or you can use this back button or you can even use like if you use that little, I never can get that thing to come out. There we go. You can have the back button there. So for instance, if you 
master getting that thing to come out, you can hit the back button there. Or you can always go, like I said, to your default desktop. So that's pretty much it. I also want to know, did anybody notice anything different about my phone? I slipped it in, just sneak it in there. It's got a case on it. And I cannot believe this case I got for 99 cents. Hold on. Whoops. From eBay. It was, like I said, 99 cents. And I just got it because I thought, well, I need something for sometimes. And what I love about it, crystal clear case, 99 cents. But the best thing is that it doesn't feel as good as the phone itself, of course. But the best thing is I had one of these crystal clear cases from my LG G2. And it was a, you know, wrestle trying to get it in and on and off. So I wound up hardly ever taking, putting it on. But in this case, you just go one corner and it's, whoops, it's off. It's really flexible. The other one was a much, much harder rubber. This is very soft. So it goes on in two seconds and gives a lot of protection. Whoops. And as you can see, you can't even see it. So just want to share that too. It's a great little case. And once again, Home TouchWiz 80WX. Home TouchWiz 80WX. I could do oops, 80WX. I could do that all day long. Anyway, that's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.